Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video. Finally, we have some more content on Camp Cretaceous. I am brainstorming very hard right now just to come up with some content about Camp Cretaceous because as you know, until Season 4 releases, we're kind of in a content drought. So it is very, <laughs> very painful for content creators like myself to cover this amazing Netflix show a lot more than what I've previously done, if that makes sense. But today is a Camp Cretaceous video about the most likely dinosaurs to appear in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. As we know from Season 3, we've had the Monolophosaurus and Aranosaurus make surprise entrances. So who's to say that we won't be able to get some new dinosaurs in Season 4? Now there is one theory I do want to talk about. We know that Brooklyn was allowed to bring in her phone to Camp Cretaceous and it's supposedly because she's the influencer and should have it. But I actually think the whole reason why Brooklyn was allowed to bring in her phone is because she has today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. If you haven't heard about Raid Shadow Legends yet, where on earth have you been all of this time? Raid is one of the most known mobile games out there on the market as of now. Have you ever dreamed about taking down creatures with awesome names such as the Demon Lord and the Ice Golem? What about taking on and fighting millions of other players in the arena? Well, dream no more as it's time to step into action and raid. Within Raid, you'll be able to explore millions of champion combinations and prepare yourself to master multiple tactics as you take on raid bosses, campaign battles and dungeon runs. Let's also not forget about the PvP aspect of this game too. It's in the new banner lords to raid. These sets of noble warriors are one of the few completely human factions in Teleria. The banner lords are basically medieval knights with a massive kingdom in the west of Teleria. They're arrogant and warlike and believe themselves to be on the side of good. But the orcs, ogrin, skinwalkers and lizardmen would definitely disagree. And as you guys saw in the background, those are a few of my favourite banner lords new in raid where you're able to build your team, develop your champions, and raid entirely the way you want. In the description down below, you'll be able to find my links to download raid for your mobile or desktop devices. And honestly speaking, when I first saw raid, I didn't think too much about it, and it didn't seem like the type of game for me. So if you're thinking that right now, don't. I was completely wrong back then, and now I'm much more invested into the game. I would recommend to try this game once you can, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Some of these champions look incredible too. Take Gallic for instance. Yeah, what an absolute unit of a dude. During this month, Raid have just released a lot of new clan features, including brand new quests for you and your clan members. New benefits for every clan member for just simply being in the clan too. There's also a brand new clan shop that gives you access to incredibly powerful items. Also, do not forget the brand new champions that Raid have introduced, where you can collect them from fragments in the Doom Tower. If you've considered starting Raid recently, you can get a huge head start by scanning my QR code that is currently on the screen right now. After scanning my QR code, you'll get access to an epic hero called Chonaru. 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get gaming. Once you've loaded into your game, you can find all of this treasure at the top right of your screen as demonstrated in this gorgeous hand-modeled image. But you must be quick. This offer and all of the rewards will only be available for the next 30 days. So go, go, go. Now, let's get back to the video, shall we? So when it comes to the dinosaurs of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, it is clear that some dinosaurs don't really belong in that roster, such as the Monolophosaurus and Aranosaurus. They were nowhere to be seen in the Jurassic franchise before their debut appearance in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, so they are now a part of the franchise. But there are a lot more dinosaurs out there that I think are deserving and definitely have some proof to suggest that they will be in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. And the first one is Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus firstly is always highly anticipated to appear in either Jurassic World Dominion or Camp Cretaceous, one or the other. And with there no reports or rumours about it appearing in Dominion, it's safe to say that we might actually see it in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. Talking of rumours, I've heard some few rumours, I don't know the credibility on this or how legit it's going to be, but apparently the dinosaur on the boat is the Dilophosaurus. 
I'm not confirming that at all, it's just what's the current rumours going around right now. And honestly speaking, it does kind of make sense, because earlier in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, we saw Darius's handbook have a picture of the Dilophosaurus, which in fact does suggest that they ran into a Dilophosaurus in the wild, and Darius was watching it and trying to analyse how it hunt, attack, kill, walk around, stuff like that. But another piece of evidence is that the executive producer back in, I think, May time, did state that he wants more legacy dinosaurs in the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous series. By legacy, this is the original trilogy of the Jurassic Park trilogy. So it goes to show that Dilophosaurus definitely has some points to be made in Camp Cretaceous. Next up, similar to the Dilophosaurus, Allosaurus. Allosaurus was mentioned in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, just before Ben jumps off the boat, he does say something along the lines saying this is what it looks like running away from an Allosaurus and jumping off of a waterfall. So that does go to show, because Ben's not really the smart one when it comes to dinosaurs, they did encounter an Allosaurus on Isla Nublar as well. Obviously, we do know it's on Isla Nublar according to Fallen Kingdom during the events of 2018 with Mount Sebo. So loads of people do want a backstory for the Allosaurus, but I don't think we'll get too much about it. And all of a sudden, very recently, some brand new toys for the Allosaurus branded with Camp Cretaceous has released to many stores in the US and the UK. And with it being highly anticipated and the Allosaurus looks to be in a lot of detail, it goes to show that we may be getting the Allosaurus in Season 4. Next up is the Mementisaurus, the only sauropod on this list. So if they are going to sauna, which we do suspect that's going to be the case, what's one sauropod on Isla Sauna that we know is there? That is Mementisaurus. Mementisaurus hasn't been seen since that small snippet in 1997's The Lost World. But this is where it gets interesting. Around this time last year, the Mementisaurus was actually showcased in Warsaw, Poland, where it had some animatronics and a Camp Cretaceous themed banner where you could read about the Mementisaurus. And obviously Mementisaurus wasn't on Isla Nublar and the Brachiosaurus was on Isla Nublar so it would have been a lot easier to use the Brachiosaurus but no they chose to use Mementisaurus. Now we don't know why that's the case but it was branded with Camp Cretaceous and if the campers do go to Isla Sauna, Mementisaurus is the sauropod of Isla Sauna. And honestly speaking, Camp Cretaceous would definitely benefit from having this sauropod in its series. Next up we have the Mosasaurus, which we have seen the events of the start of Fallen Kingdom take place during Camp Cretaceous Season 3. So we know it is after the Mosasaurus escapes, and the campers are riding away from Isla Nublar on a boat in the water, exactly coincidentally where the Mosasaurus is. So I highly anticipate the Mosasaurus to make a big appearance in Camp Cretaceous Season 4, and what this Mosasaurus will probably do is attack the campers, rock the boat a little bit, all of a sudden the compass falls over the side, they don't know where they're going and that's how they get to Isla Sauna instead of Costa Rica. But yes, that's why I highly anticipate the Mosasaurus to make a big appearance in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. Next up we have Triceratops and Apatosaurus. Both of these dinosaurs were big in Jurassic World, but we have yet to see them in Camp Cretaceous for some reason. They chose the Brachiosaurus and the Sinoceratops above the Trike and the Apato. I'm not too sure why that's the case, however in the background of some behind the scenes selfies we can clearly see the dinosaurs in use and dinosaurs that they planned for Camp Cretaceous. Two dinosaurs on that list are in fact Apatosaurus and Triceratops so we are very hopeful for their return eventually in Season 4. Not only that but there is another dinosaur on that list called Stiggy Moloch. The Stiggy Moloch has only appeared in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and we never saw it on Isla Nublar until 2018, but we know it must have been there because nobody's been there since 2016. But in the behind the scenes image, we can clearly see that there's a nickname for the Stiggy Moloch called Stiggy. If you guys don't know before Fallen Kingdom, it was rumoured that the Stiggy Moloch in Fallen Kingdom will be nicknamed Stiggy by Maisie, but that never really came true, so we kind of wonder where that came from. But it seems like Stiggy is now made for the Stiggy Moloch for maybe in Camp Cretaceous. With them leaving Bumpy behind, they do need another companion dinosaur. A hard hitting dinosaur as well, and potentially a baby dinosaur, the Stiggy Moloch could entirely be there. I'm starting to think, maybe it's the Stiggy Moloch that's on the boat instead. But with no Bumpy, and with the Stiggy Moloch being rumoured and has a nickname, it seems like it will be showing up in Season 4. There is also a Lego toy set as well regarding the Stiggy Moloch, where the campers are trying to track down and capture the Stiggy Moloch, so I'm not too sure what's going on there, 
It's not really canon and I don't think we should look into it too much, but it is rather intriguing. And now finally, the big bad boy that everyone knows and loves, and if you have been following my channel for nearly a year, you'd know that I want the Spinosaurus. As we've known, it's no secret that the Spinosaurus has been teased numerous amounts of times in Camp Cretaceous. The first one we saw was the E750 project where Brooklyn had it up on screen, and then we can also suspect because of the claws and the kind of animations that the Scorpius Rex did, maybe the Spinosaurus was used in the Scorpius Rex DNA. As we know, the Scorpius Rex only had Carno, Velociraptor, and T-Rex dinosaur-wise in its DNA, and all of those dinosaurs plus the Spinosaurus was on screen when Brooklyn clicked on that E750 folder. So why did they not confirm the Spinosaurus? We don't know, maybe they're saving that for later down the line. But a Spinosaurus, I understand that it does sell well when you slap it on any type of packaging, but it has been branded a lot with Camp Cretaceous, whether that's three, four different types of toys, some posters, you know, there's so much going on with the Spinosaurus and Camp Cretaceous, and with the campers maybe going to Isla Sauna, we know what's there, a Spinosaurus, hopefully. But something that recently came up is a game called Jurassic World The Game. It's a mobile game and you kind of have packs that you can open similar to FIFA and you get some dinosaurs in there that you can put in your park. Well, they are currently promoting a pack called Camp Cretaceous Forever. And when you look at the promotional imaging on that pack, you can quite clearly see that the Spinosaurus and Carlosaurus and Stegosaurus are there. We've seen the Anki and the Stego, we haven't seen the Spino. So why are they promoting the Spinosaurus with Camp Cretaceous yet again. I don't know, it all seems a bit fishy to me and to be honest I'd love to hear what you guys think about all of these dinosaurs in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for sticking around for today's video, I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, but in the meantime, stay safe out there and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.